So how large a collider do we need to generate a graviton? Well, gravitons are massless, so the energy isn't needed to give them mass like it is with the Higgs. Rather, energy is needed to increase the chance of generating one. Gravity is the weakest force by a long, long way. It's 24 orders of magnitude weaker than the weakest of the other fundamental forces, a fact which itself is a conundrum called the hierarchy problem, which obviously we've talked about before. In quantum terms, that weakness can be expressed as a very small coupling constant between the graviton and the other particles. The probability of generating a graviton in a particle collision depends on that coupling constant. And despite the word constant, the coupling factor actually increases with the energy of the interaction. At around a billion joules, the coupling for gravity reaches the ballpark strength of the other forces. So that's the energy that we need to reach in our collisions to have a fair chance of producing gravitons. And how big an accelerator do we need to reach a billion joules? Well, the LHC collisions reach a whopping millionth of one joule. Now, for a fixed magnetic field strength, collision energy scales directly with collider size. To get to the energy needed to generate a graviton, a collider with the same magnets as the 27 kilometer LHC would need to be around three light years in diameter, much bigger than our solar system.